Hiya, we're James and Helen uh, from Athena Raveland. We're going to talk to you a little bit about these fluffy things today. So on my lap is Athena and over there's our puppy Ajax. We're going to go through a few questions that we've had and a lot of questions that we get in general owning these kind of dogs and also talk a little bit about how we're going to, um, how we envisage our, our journey and our travelling with these two animals and how they're going to impact us. done is we've had our family because um, we're in lockdown at the moment with very little to do uh, write us a bunch of questions um, based on the dogs and our travels uh, so we'll just go through them answer them and try and get a bit of footage of the dogs running about and having a bit of fun as well um, so the first question is are they huskies no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not huskies. So these guys are Alaskan Malamutes. So originally from Alaska, they're an Arctic breed. So similar to huskies, huskies are from Siberia. Um, but Malamutes are, are generally a lot bigger, a lot stockier, a lot fluffier um, than huskies. You'll tend to find huskies have blue eyes, but can have brown eyes as well. Malamutes definitely have brown eyes. Be very surprised to see a Malamute with blue eyes. Um, but you wouldn't say Malamute with blue eyes. It wouldn't happen with it. It'd be a cross, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. It'd be like a husky mute or something. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much every Malamute owner will know that anywhere you go is followed by. Oh, look at the big fluffy husky. Huskies are my favourite dog. See Malamute and his twitch a little bit. It's like not again. Yeah. But um, yeah, they're not huskies. Um, cool. So, next question, a little bit of history of the breed. Did we do that already? No. So, these guys are Alaskan Malamutes. Um, obviously originally from Alaska, where they get the name. Uh, and they were, um, what's the word, cultivated? Cultivated? GM Malamutes. <laughs> Is that the right word? <laughs> they, they were domesticated. <laughs> Let's Google that word. Yes. <laughs> domesticated um, by the Malamute people tribe. Uh, they were used as seal hunters, they would be used as babysitters when everyone was out, they would keep watch over the babies. Yeah, and um, that's human babies as well, so quite a nice. They're, they're very well known for being a very soppy, as you can see, loving breed. Um, really, really good with people. Um, not always the case with other dogs, um, as is the case with Athena, but we'll go on to that a bit later. Um, but as you can see, and one of the other differences between a husky and a Malamute from what we've heard, because we have never owned huskies, is that huskies are quite um, hyper and they're quite active, very active dogs, and Malamutes tend to be a little bit calmer. Um, not always the case for this guy. As you can tell, we're kind of having to bribe him to be here, but Athena's very happy just to chill out on Athena's lap and Helen's lap, even. It's confusing in here. Um, yeah. Oh, Goodbye, buddy. See you Goodbye. later. See you later. Um, okay, so what else we got? Do they get too warm? Yes. They do get too warm. They certainly do get very warm, especially Ajax. His coat is extremely thick. And what you'll notice with um, these kind of Arctic breeds is they've got a double layered coat. So they've got a double coat 
um, this thin, spindly. Yeah, we'll try course. and get a close up footage of it because you probably won't be able to see it from there. But you can see the darker, blacker hairs on top are quite coarse and long, and underneath there's almost like a woolly white layer underneath which that blows out quite a few times during the year um, and creates bundles of uh, fur everywhere. What does blow out mean? Yeah. Uh, well, so with Malamutes, especially female Malamutes, um, they tend to shed their coat. So it, it's called a blow, it just falls out in handfuls. Um, and I think we've probably had two like big black bin bags worth off Athena in one day. Um, so you can imagine it kind of floating around the house in your coffee, in your cereal. Um, you just get used to that. <laughs> no it destroys safe. the hoovers, um, and there is nowhere safe really when that happens. Rest of the time, winter, they have these lovely long coats. They don't blow them so much. Males like Ajax, or it does vary dog to dog, but he doesn't seem to be blowing at all. It kind of rolls the rolling coat. Um, he'll shed a little bit sometimes, but it generally tends to be a bit thicker and a bit bushier all the time. Uh, whereas Athena can blow it and get really skinny looking and kind of feel a bit sorry for her. She feels a bit sorry for herself and then it'll come back and lovely and thick for winter. Sorry. Yes. Can they pull a sled? Can they if we a had sled? a sled, they would yeah. pull it. If we had snow, they'd probably pull it. Unfortunately, we don't that often. Um, and certainly not enough to warrant buying a sled. Um, but what we do have is a scooter. Um, you can have things called rigs, which are basically tri tricycles, um, big tricycles that have suspension and stuff. Um, and you can run them. A lot of people do race them. Um, but we've just gone for a nice simple scooter. We can attach one or two dogs to it. It's not too heavy for one. It's two wheels. Two wheels, yeah. And uh, yeah, just they love it. That's something we've done started doing recently. Um, probably the main reason for not having done it for a while before is because they need to be about a year to two years old to do it properly. Um, Athena's just about three and Ajax is only just old enough to start doing it. Um, so that's probably why we've not done it before. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Join us next time. We'll be outside chatting a little bit more about the dogs, their characters, what they eat and how much we exercise them.